there, everybody. Uh, Peter of England here, bringing you some news about some very interesting events that are coming up uh, concerning Weir Bank. I'm actually standing outside of uh, Santander at the moment to highlight some of the problems that are facing everyone in the country at the moment, and especially these topics that should be covered coming up to the election. But more of that in a moment. Uh, any of you who have been reading the newspapers lately, you'll see that uh, the Greek government is planning maybe to bring in a parallel currency and default uh, on its loans to the European Central Bank. Uh, also, you might be able to uh, see that the Icelandic government also are considering introducing something called sovereign money. This is in effect to stop the uh, private banks from... Uh, inflating the money supply and producing the obscene profits that have actually ruined Iceland and many other European countries. Greece, Ireland, uh, Spain, Portugal, Italy, to name just but a few. So, the purpose of this announcement today is to make you aware that uh, this is brought to you over the Easter period, over the Easter holiday break, and it's going to be called the Easter Rising, because we are bank, uh, as of the 13th of April, is open for business to all members of Re-Movement and it will be issuing uh, various financial instruments to you to help you pay off your public liability debt. Um, the book, which I'll just show you there, um, these books, these check books, will be uh, available from April the 13th and as I said before, it gives you the ability to pay off all public liability debts and in some instances your private debt. Now, one or two things I want to just cover here uh, are the actual uh, intricacies of how you become uh, a checkbook holder or a member of Weir Bank. The first thing you'll have to do is to go visit the Weir Bank website, which should be completed by around about the 12th or 13th. But prior to that, uh, follow some of the, the notifications at the foot of this uh, video. Um, what we're going to be doing is asking you, first of all, to join Removement and become a Remember. That will cost you £10 a month. At the same time as doing that, you'll need to create and send to Weir Bank at 83 Ducey Street, Manchester, a promissory note. Uh, we'll also send you instructions on how to make these if you aren't uh, certain. Um, from that point on, you will be then required to pay a £25 fee for your Weir book of checks, which, as you can see here, uh, is going to be on high quality uh, security paper with security inks done by a professional company that takes the checks and financial instruments for all the banks. Now, these cost £25 each, and they have 50 checks, and it's based upon the assumption or the calculation that you'll be using about one per week. If you need to use more, then you can always uh, buy another book. Um, from that, then, we come to our sort of uh, a motto, or our little, shall we say, strap line for, for We Are Bank now. And what we're encouraging people to do is the problem that we're facing with people, uh, uh, banking organisations like Santander, Halifax, uh, the Cooperative Bank, Barclays, NatWest, is that they are fleecing you and making obscene profits which are not taxed by these these governmental ministers. So what the, the strap line or the, the rallying cry is, is don't fight it, just pay it. And how you can pay it is with a check drawn on the bank, we are bank, and this will allow you to pay off debts to HMRC, the council, VAT car repayments and mortgage payments. Now, Hopefully that's all quite clear and you can follow those instructions on the website if you're, if you're not so sure of, uh, of what's being covered there. Um, one of the things I'd just like to touch on at the moment is to address this to uh, the, uh, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, someone who's actually named um, Gideon Oliver Osborne. However, he didn't like that name so he changed it to George. Now, George will maintain that there's no option other than to bring austerity measures in or to raise VAT or to bring additional taxes onto your back through PAYE and um, self-assessment or council tax or increased parking fees, etc. Now, what I would just like to very quickly cover, and I'm going to have to consult my notes here on this, is uh, 
Weir Bank and Removement would advocate something called a financial transaction tax. It's nothing new and it would come in at around about 1% of all commercial transactions. And to put this into perspective and give you some idea of what this would bring in and what these banking organisations here are making through things like CHAPS, BACS, the Clearing and the London Financial Futures Exchange plus the Forex Exchange plus the over-the-counter derivatives market are some of these figures. CLS Group, and these are all non-taxed profits that are coming through here, or turnover. CLS Group, 2013, 1,250 trillion was what their annual turnover was. The New York Stock Exchange and LIFE, London International Financial Futures Exchange, 474 trillion. LCH, which is London Clearing, ClearNet, Bank Clearing, for all mortgage payments, all financial transactions that come through the banks, 507 trillion in 2013 alone. CHAPS, everybody has heard of the CHAPS clearing system? Well, in 2013, 70.1 trillion was cleared through there. The BAC system, which you've all heard of as well, which if you go to the Friendly Bank, they will show you how to send money over, over uh, a link through uh, the banking system. 4.2 trillion, Barclays 7.5 trillion through something called Bar X. Now that comes to a total of 1,845 trillion. A 1% uh, tax on that would have more than eliminated all the UK uh, debt and would have had more money than the, the, the government has raised in the last two or three years. Just to put that in perspective, GDP for the UK, gross domestic product, is around about three trillion, three trillion pounds. Revenues that are brought in through the government and through the Chancellor are around about 640 billion. A 1% on that would bring in 18.45 trillion on that trading alone. So these are the lies, these are the cover-ups, these are the excuses for not being any more uh, money in the pot, where a very, very small 1% transaction charge on all of these, all handled out of the uh, City of London, which accounts for around about 40% of the global trade, would end all the financial problems for this country. So, join with Weirbank, follow what's happening in Iceland with its sovereign money initiative through the Prime Ministerial uh, and Government Departments, and let's see, as we join with the Greeks and the Irish, to make a better future. Okay, so thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe.